Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Yeah, just a further word about how these soul clearings are taking place, even in the case of very dark and distorted energy strands that are like knit into the brightness of our bodies of light. Um, whenever there's a solar flare or a uh, solar wind incoming or like that, it's, uh, especially I think it's going to be happening in September, most Septembers it happens, probably all through the month of September. Um, these, these solar events, these astro-geophysical events, create opportunities for soul clearing. And so what has been popping up as astral stories for all of us, and in a more or less upsetting way, I feel, uh, during this time of low solar energy, uh, in September, it should start, it should start, what it does is like when you strike a match to magnesium, you know, there's this great burst of like um, uh, violet light, right, from the magnesium. The magnesium is set fire with a great burst of, of, of magenta light or violet light. And the same thing happens with our electromagnetic fields during when the solar events strike just the right note you know how light is expressed in healing through sound and through light the light changes like to a sound or the light directly impacts the uh, the electromagnetic field at that place where the soul wounding is and there's a great flash of light and a great uh, chaotic neospheric sound as that uh, audiovisual file of the soul wounding, that recording that we are keeping in our electromagnetic field, is suddenly released, suddenly set forth like a, a moving picture show, and into into the light of our awareness, and from there, on to the infinite, and suddenly gone, completely gone. I think this is a wonderful thing to do, to understand that we can completely let these experiences go. Just waiting for the fire of the sun to come and clear everything away. And coming up in, in September, I'm pretty sure that's what we're all going to be doing. <laughs>